Hi, this is John Clements for the UMass Fruit Advisor. Uh, today is Thursday, October 12, 2006. We're out at the UMass Cold Spring Orchard. And I've got some apple trees I want to show you. Um, the variety is Cameo, or Cameo as they say in Europe. And in this super spindle planting where the trees are planted two feet apart, um, I've got 20 trees each of three different rootstocks. Uh, uh, Budagowski 9 or B9. I've got Geneva 16, G16 and uh, a Molling 9, M9, uh, 337. And these trees are in their fifth leaf and I'm starting to get a really good feel about how these three rootstocks uh, perform in the field. And I've got a few observations I wanted to show you, uh, tell you about. So uh, let's take a look at, at Bud 9 first. This is Budagowski 9 here behind me. Um, what I've noticed about Bud 9 is it's had very early yields right from the second leaf. It's probably out yielded all the other the other two root stocks out of the three. And um, the thing, it's got the heaviest crop this year on it again. Um, the thing about Bud 9 that worries me a little bit though is I'm starting to see some of the trees are perhaps a little smaller than I'd like them to be. And the fruit size may not be up to snuff. Um, you know, perhaps I'd like to see a little more vigor in these trees. I'd be very cautious about overcropping Bud 9 in the early years. Uh, overcropping it, period, because I think the fruit's going to be a little smaller. Other than that, like I said, um, from the second leaf through the fifth leaf, um, it's clearly out yielded the other two root stocks. But with that caveat, I'm a little concerned about uh, heavy yields and fruit size. So that's Bud 9. Let's take a look at uh, Geneva 16 or G16. Geneva 16 uh, may not be right clear. I'll zoom in in a minute and show you that these trees are significantly, significantly larger than Bud 9. Um, at this two foot spacing, um, the vigor in here has been more than I really want to deal with. So probably uh, Geneva 16 is, is better for a little wider spacing. Um, Geneva 16 has been slow to come into bearing, much slower than the Bud 9 and the M9 and the second and third leaf. Starting to see a better crop here now in the fourth and fifth leaf. On a per tree basis, I still have less fruit than Budagowski 9, so on a per acre basis at two foot spacing, B9 is still going to out yield these Geneva 16. I will say that um, fruit size perhaps on these is a little better than Bud 9, um, and I think that directly relates to the vigor. Um, purportedly, Geneva 16 will start to come into its own over time, and hopefully, some of the vigor will slow down. You can see I got some pretty long extension growth here again this year, um, close to two feet long. Whereas over in the Bud Nines, most of the extension growth is, is 6 to 12 inches at the most. So the other thing I wanted to say, uh, a, a field characteristic identifying G16 in the field is the characteristic um, uh, uh, cracked bark look on the rootstock, kind of uh, chunky squares that you can see is a, uh, is a field identifier for G16. So Geneva 16 is fire blight resistant, so that's a plus. But uh, uh, watch your spacing closely with these, and I'll be curious to see how these perform Oh, say over the next five years or so. So now let's look at the old standard M9337 and see how that compares to both the Bud 9 and the G16. Finally, here's the Cameo on M9. Um, this is uh, RN337, uh, the clone. And um, these M9s have been pretty typical of what I expect in an M9, a fairly manageable, uh, moderately vigorous tree uh, with good yields. Again, not as high as the Budagowski 9, I'd want to say that maybe overall the fruit size has been a little bigger than the Bud 9, um, but I, I couldn't confirm that for sure without uh, collecting some more data. So uh, to be perfectly honest with you, the crop load on these is, is maybe a little lighter than I'd like to see it. Oh, there's probably uh, it's about 25 apples per tree, maybe 30 apples. Uh, I'm going to pick these and count the yield to see how they come out. But between the three at this point, I was really liking Bud 9, but now I'm getting a little concerned as it gets a little bit older that the tree might be starting to run out a little bit. I'm going to watch that closely. Geneva 16 is still a little more vigorous, at least for this spacing than I'd like to see, probably more vigorous period than I'd like to see, and not quite as uh, uh, high a yield. And perhaps M9, the old workhorse, is still probably, if I had to choose one of these uh, to bet the life of the orchard on, it might still be the M9, the RN337. So, again, looking at those three rootstocks, Cameo on B9, G16, and M9 here at the UMass Cold Spring Orchard on um, October 12, 2006. This is John Clements for the UMass Fruit Advisor. We'll see you again sometime soon.